So namaste, my name is uh, Gopi Shankar Madurai. Uh, I'm intersex and gender first. So this is my tattoo, my friend made it. I always define myself as a selfless flower and lotus comes from dirt basically. I've been through a lot of dirts in the society. The flowing water represents the liveliness, life. I make sure that I'm not sticking to anything. So I'm, I was always an out of box person and then I make sure that I flow. When I was born, initially there was an issue with assigning uh, the sex and then uh, in Tamil we call pedi. Uh, pedi means pedi uh, chipoyo, which means uh, scary. It re it re a nomenclature refers, refers to scary. Uh, in the later days, uh, because of my grandmother's support, my maternal grandmother was very, very, very supportive. She must have understood a lot of things about my anatomy and she's, a, she's the most progressive woman in the family, more supportive than my own mother or father or anybody. Probably like, uh, so then what happened is that uh, the childhood <laughs> was vulnerable. I mean childhood is vulnerable for everyone. For me it was even more vulnerable. I had to shift, I had to change many, many, many schools, way too many schools because uh, of my appearance and sex identity and few documents, issues related to my name and all that. Uh, because uh, I had to wear uh, short skirt, frocks for a while in the school and then suddenly in other school I had to wear trousers and all that. Or, even the way I was going to the toilet or something, I was, I was not comfortable, you know, like growing up. Uh, the way the society was projecting a male and female, definitely I was not into the definition of male and female. Some of my, uh, you know, young family members were very, very curious about my reproductive system. You know, and, uh, they always want to experiment certain things and then like so growing up uh, uh, so I also faced a lot of uh, issues like um, um, be it a, uh, sexual abuse within the uh, family system or whomever I meet and I interact with boys and girls and they have a pattern of behavior and if I'm not aligning with the pattern, uh, I was always ostracized by them and then uh, because um, I always felt that uh, I have both the qualities in me. Of course, everyone do have, but I could express it more and it's not that I need to think like a male or a female because I think like an intersex person because I'm an intersex person. एक गंभीर खबर इस वक्त अमेरिका के फ्लोरिडा से आई है फ्लोरिडा के एक नाइट क्लब में हुई अंधाधुन फायरिंग में अब तक 50 लोगों के मारे जाने की खबर आई है आफ्टर ओरलैंडो इंसिडेंट इन यूएस ओरलैंडो शूटिंग गे बार शूटिंग देयर इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल फ्रॉम इंडियन नेशनल लीग हु स्टक पोस्टर्स एवरीवेयर सेइंग दैट uh, homosexuals need to be hanged to death and they are cultural terrorists and that was the first ever attack is like kind of uh, posters, sticking posters where in 2016 when I was contesting in the election I didn't even know who is this person I was contesting independently and I was giving interview to a media and then I got attacked suddenly but the fifth attack which is a recent one in the Karol Bagh is the most brutal one I got attacked I got admitted in the Gangaram hospital athlete who won a silver medal in the women's 800 meters at the Asian Games earlier this month has been stripped of her medal. You wonder why? She failed a gender test. Oh! Oh damn! Oh no you didn't! So she's a he! When it comes to Shanti, she was an inspiration to all of us, especially to me, because uh, now she's like an elder sister to me. 
because I one thing is that uh, whatever she underwent is wrong. I had to tell her that uh, the system is wrong and you're right, and we need to do something to get justice to you. One mistake she made is that she decided to run for this country, and she was kept mute for more than seven to it has more than half a day. Um, you know, they said she underwent a gender verification, a sex verification test or gender verification test and some of the media even called her as a transgender person. And that's stupidity and like neither a man nor a woman, that is neither a male nor a female, you know, her sex identity and gender identity and expression were questioned and then that was like very similar to me. I saw myself in her position. Definitely, of course, in later days I came to know that her intersex, I mean like her condition, her, her thing is different from my, you know, intersex uh, condition. She is the victim of this system. It is visible. At least Shanti's name is there in the media. We know something about her. You know how many of these Shanti's, Gopi's, a lot of others are out there. Whatever I underwent as a child, I don't want any other children to undergo that. Even before the society accepting me as who I am, or my parents accepting me as what I am, I had to, I need to accept who I am.